think sometimes we as Christians are too certain about things. And it would be better if sometimes we were not so certain. Let me explain to you what I mean by reading from James chapter 4, starting at verse 13. We read this. Come now, you who say, today or tomorrow we will go into such and such a city, spend a year there, buy and sell and make a profit, whereas you do not know what will happen tomorrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. Instead, you ought to say, if the Lord wills, we shall live and do this or do that. But now you boast in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. As a child grows, it becomes more and more independent of the parent. A baby in the womb is entirely dependent upon the mother and a newborn virtually so. Yet as time goes on, so does the progress to independence. Our Christian life is not like this at all. As we progress in the Christian life, we become more dependent upon God, not less. This is what James had in mind when he wrote, You who say today or tomorrow we will go to such and such a city, spend a year there, buy and sell and make a profit. You see, James rebuked the kind of heart that lives and makes its plans apart from a constant awareness of God's hand and with an underestimation of our own limitations. James reminds us, you do not know what will happen tomorrow. You see, James counsels us to take a humbler attitude. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. James asks us to consider the fragility of human life and the fact that we live and move only at God's permission. James does not discourage us from planning and doing, only from planning and doing apart from a reliance on God. In our easy-going pride, many people think that their life is secure. Yet people pass from this life to eternity because of all sorts of small things. <laughs> they slip on a grape. They choke on a bone. A microbe brings a fatal disease. Now, this should not make us paranoid, marking every step with fear, but it should make us humbler, always relying on God and his goodness. James reminds us, instead, you ought to say, if the Lord wills, we shall live and do this or that. It is nothing but sheer arrogance that makes us think that we can live and move and have our being independent of God. Paul knew and lived this principle. He said in Acts 18.21, I will return again to you, God willing. In 1 Corinthians 4 verse 19, he said, But I will come to you shortly if the Lord wills. In 1 Corinthians 16, 7, he says, I hope to stay a while with you if the Lord permits. Look, we know two things for sure about the future. <laughs> number one, that God knows it. And number two, that we do not. And the key to all this isn't fear or worry. It's a humble dependence upon God. Live this way today and make everything every day of this life count, and you will also prepare for eternity.